Hello everybody and welcome back to Witcher 3 where I just played about seven minutes with, on the wrong save file and without remembering that uh, something big happened last time. So at the end of the last episode that you guys watched, I, I said something about going to get Master Cra the Grandmaster gear. Uh, well, I didn't spend, you know, I had the technical problems, right? And so I spent the next hour and 20 minutes grinding and getting the materials and the money for the Grandmaster chest armor. Um, so unfortunately I did get it and I'm not going to replay that part. I replayed all the stuff that required cutscenes, but then basically what I've done now is gone back to the save point where I noticed the file was corrupted to the end of that. So I'm not going to do the like, I'm not going to redo the hour and 20 minutes I spent just grinding to get the stuff that I need for the Grandmaster armor. But I did get the Grandmaster, I decided to get the Grandmaster woven armor. Um, and so I do have that. And it was cool. I mean, it was the archaeology expedition, right? So I kind of wish I could have shown you guys, but um, and it was it was cool. We just we found it wasn't that difficult. It was like kind of a haunted area, and we got it, it gives you all like all the component all the all the armor parts from one guy. So so I have the Grandmaster woven armor, and I just need this stinking monster stomach. But I remember having. Um, some trouble with that. Um, but, so the bonus for this one is that bombs are thrown without any delay, but I don't use bombs. I use alchem alchemical stuff. Um, and I was looking at the comments from the last video, and apparently the Manticore armor is the one that's designed for an alchemical build that's based on the armor you had in Witcher 1. That's what Frog Rider said on, on the last episode. Um... So, I think I'm gonna go grab the Manticore armor at this point, and, cause I have, I have a monster stomach, it's just not showing up in there, I have two, I have two monster stomachs, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I went. I went to like. Uh, where am I at right now? So wherever I'm at right now, I had to come all the way here to Novigrad to go kill like a uh, wyvern or something of some sort that spawns out here that had the cup, the stomach, and I've got two of them, but it's not showing up as me having it in my inventory. So. <laughs> But, so I think, I mean, I don't know if, if the, most of the materials are the same for most of the armors. I'll probably make the Grandmaster Woven Chest, but I kind of want to go check out the Manticore. Because I completely forgot that they had, um, like, extra bonuses, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Seven points. Hmm. I don't think there were any more potion. Whoa, wow. Journey fatality for twenty minutes. Oh, wow. I think, I mean, I could take away... Mm, I 
that's actually, that is really useful. I don't really, like, I could change, I could change all this up, but I, I like the setup I've got right now. Um. Buoy. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. I mean, I could take away these. I don't, I don't really use them a lot. But they are handy. Like, the Quinn stuff especially is handy. Oh, well. What was I going to do? Oh, yes. Uh, no, I want to do, nope, uh, treasure hunts. Oh, would it be under secondary quest? Oh, I, I'm in the wrong area, that's right. Okay, so let's travel back to Toussaint. Oh, wait, I, uh, that's right, okay. I'll remember yet. So yeah, if I don't find a I might not find a solution by the time I upload this video, so if anybody has a solution to this stomach problem, let me know. Um. Oh, so this is where it was. This, this is where I picked up the wolven armor. It was a really cool little area. Like, the elven ruins were really neat. I mean, they look like any like on the inside. They look, the inside they look like they looked like every other elven ruin we've been in, but the outside was a little bit different, and it was a little bit more intact than some. At least in some places. Uh, when I was started, like when I started at the beginning of this, like fifteen minutes ago, I was when I was playing on the wrong save and didn't really realize it. It was um. It was. Oh, whoa, oh, you're back, you no. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. So, these are guys that I had to fight. These are like the bar gas or something. I don't know what they're called, but they are rates. Oh yeah, and I got the superior, I got the superior vampire oil as well. I ended up having enough um, ingredients somehow to make it. So I've got four of them superior. I don't think I have. essence sweet I wonder if that's necessary for one of my one of my one of my places all right let's do oh 
Oh, no. Uh, this one. Manticore. Mm-hmm. Mm, we're kind of far. We'll see. I guess we could go... Whoa. Uh, probably go to the palace gardens. The fabulous gardens on the shores of Sade, Lig, Ligd, Lilg, Yigd, were like Bikair Palace, nearly destroyed during the Elven conflicts. Master Faramond, who led the renovation efforts, did what he could, but some of the more delicate plants could not be saved. Today's popular recreation spot for courtiers is mainly filled with spruces, olive trees, Bucler oaks, rose bushes, juniper thickets, ronadons, and, of course, grapevines. Rahondodendrons. Oh, and there was a uh, place of power there, which I hadn't encountered in a long time. Thought it was kind of funny. Or... Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, a new haircut. We'll just go there. Probably be even easier than the palace gardens to get out of. I could go talk to that kid, though, on my way. I think he's still there. You know, that's the thing, is, like, you have to force them into material form by casting Yerdin or Moon Dust, and I'm like, usually I just whack them, and it's fine. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um... Yeah, he's like right next to me. I love Tucson, it's beautiful. Hey. It's so colorful, and I really want to go wherever those pointy cliffs Richard, are. I have a matter of prime urgency and import. I must. Oh, I didn't recognize you without your armor. Oh, gall. Ugh. A monster Do you? slayer. My, my. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly. He has so I am splendid hair. Trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden. Nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A oh, curse, perhaps. She doesn't like you. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. She suddenly. Yeah! Old, <laughs> distant, the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Uh, true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. Oh, he I caught fear me, though. She's fallen victim he to ill magic. Me. And knows no one she could turn to for help. He would. I thought it was, was going to go straight over his head, but. Mm. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Oh trickery? boy. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's Oh my gosh, home. a stalker! As emerged from it, I too emerged. Ever so gently, but convincingly collided with her. Then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Geralt's like, oh then boy. Suddenly... <laughs> then suddenly, <laughs> from her mouth, there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase. Maybe there's a time. reason she keeps people at a distance, like... 
Maybe she I is cursed. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. Look at his glorious I mane, though. that often come night, she ventures into the woods. He's a stalker! the glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into Boy, the air. Boy, she's got a lover in the woods. Leave her alone. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wanted uh, to Isn't she like a lady in waiting to the Duchess? Nothing unusual about any of that. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Uh, okay. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Yeah. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Oh. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. No! You should take my place no! in the lists and thus no! gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. This tourney, how does it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding Glory. test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. <laughs> Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Uh, boy, five hundred. Agreed. Fine. That is an amount I can indeed muster. That <laughs> girl's like, oh boy. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. Oh boy. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. No! Not races! Uh... How about some sword play? Come with me. Uh, I you would team just with other you know. knights to fight. Ash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best. But now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. I just wanted to go get some manticore armor. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. Oh boy. You wish to spar? Why not? Any last words? Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? No. 
think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Huh. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Hey, ho, hey, ho. Come with me. Well, why isn't he telling me, like, you know, words? Like, the Torgi's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How is it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. <laughs> I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> and last, Trampona. We stand, lie stripped of all that is noble. <laughs> have shown themselves cowards. Why are you standing Folks in a barrel? Show no compassion. Thus the gods have no compassion for them. All right then. You may write a resounding refrain or sing the marvelous tune. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. I like that they all sing. Like we just we hear more so snippets of songs here. What? There's no to be done. Well, what? I didn't mean to run into you. The rather handsome. I am. Thank you. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time no. you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land oh. a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. I'm only going to use my sword. Oh, whoops. Uh, I, I was just, I was getting ready to gallop and I accidentally Oof. clicked through. Go. Why are you not going? Go. Do I have to hold it? Good enough. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? Oh, that's fine. I've had enough. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? <sighs> Trained enough, I think. High time we saw your Vivian. She is not mine. Not yet. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. <laughs> Honor and glory are all good. Wait, um... He drank himself stupid, fell in the lake. Golly gee, Willikers! <laughs> Wine by the bell. Probably should have done marksmanship training because I don't ever use my crossbow either. The gods have sent the beast! <laughs> Let's see about getting the haircut, maybe. Go ring! 
Well, I actually can't afford it. I like and I like the style we've got. No, you can't go under. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Oh, really? No. What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Who's rap? I don't know who that first one is. Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Is that like Ravix my mom? Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on oh. the occasion of her 15th birthday. Oh! That's actually right. <laughs> Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said oh. structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. I think that's in the book. I'm Geralt, not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentions using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that <laughs> case, thanks. Yeah, Have you been party instructed prize. as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Oh, please. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. Nah. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Can I sell it? Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. Ooh. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard. A famed master weaponsmith. Her I, need, uh, I haven't met the wap brought all the way from I haven't Marseille. met uh, the master weaponsmith yet, I don't think. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. <laughs> there are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. 
Any targets hit with boats or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Nah. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Uh, Upon boy. what would you like to swear it? Like this. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. She would laugh her butt off. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. <laughs> that is gods. all I need from you. Now, as arranged by no the arm, no, I have you my own armor. With appropriate armor for the tourney. Oh, hmm. please. Shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. I will look ridiculous in that armor. Oh my gosh, Geralt, you look spl He looks really good, actually! Geralt, so knightly looking. He's got a fight in, like, brand new armor. All right, this he looks pretty good in it. I like it. Ah! Right, get me out of the way. Ah! Get the father the archer. That's right. Oh, thank you. They moved their halberds for me. I maybe should have practiced the marksmanship. Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Fan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Oh, jeez. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. No. Thanks. Another time, maybe. Ha! Ah, you've denied me some diversion. But at the least, my eyes are in for a treat. Lady Vivian should appear shortly. Why'd they make the most, like, solitary woman be the patroness? Fair knights, I salute you. The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably so that I may bestow upon one of your number the Tawny's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme! His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow! <laughs> Nod. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red! May the better man win. 
<laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go. Like a lava ghostly grasping, but one fair cheek, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. <laughs> that was close. Hom Akispark wins. Wait, what? Are those tears in his eyes? Perhaps his heart yearns for a lover's soft sighs. Sir Geralt of Fithia did not give his best. What? He failed, missed his marks, and did not pass the test. I hit all of them. Your bow! Guy, your bow! Blast that kind of luck. In the interim, I managed to determine which tenth Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that really? case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Well, I thought I hit the ones I was supposed to. Unless the sun really did mess with me. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. That's really obvious, guy. Oh, wow. Is she a werewolf? Claw marks. That's clear. Not sure what beast left them. Just that it's big. Oh, fair Vivian. Thou hast he is so distracted. This is not good. Thy lips are like a Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. Oh, crap! Birds. Something about Bruxa? Used to make compresses. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Who would wear a shirt like that? I might do better at the racing. At least there's nobody else there. Stripping lids. Look, they pulled their halberds back. That's cool. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ooh, and I got some good armor for Roach too. So Roach won't, Ro Roach won't Behold, stand out in the sun. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous, gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Holy cow! Is that an actual from knight? Come lands here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her their titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metina. Rainfarn of Atra. Home of a spark of Mecht. Dominir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiau. Tartai of Dondal. Anse of Lyria and Rivia, a B. 
Fritz. Geralt of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint power of silence, Tony Champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how Tony's proceed? Oh. Don't look at me! Tony for nobly born knights. Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, Meath, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. Ah. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, there rides like the so game. She doesn't want me messing what in her business. Behold, what a lark, what a tail. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. I'll probably mess this one up, too. Faster. He's up! We the thunder's roar, who pounds the ground. No legion of drummers could make such a sound. Concentrate. Ooh, there's monsters along the way. Ride through the river? It's a beautiful water. Oh. Okay. So it matters if they're on the right or the left side. This race is a lot longer than the other one was! Hey, uh. Build back up the stamina really quick. Oh, well, come on. Go, go. There's two routes? Or am I going the wrong way? I'll be very mad. So fast, Roach. Roach isn't designed to be a racehorse. A failure, a loss, a tragic trip. Let us hope with his sword he makes no such slip. I'm not Come a knight, dude. Feast. We shall await Vivian together, wine in hand. Lead the way. That guy. Oh, they're frozen, but they're not. 